What is happening right now is people are filling out the paperwork that you will be filling out. The first is a good moral character for me. <laughs> Read it, both sides, sign it, and, and give it to Holly Porter. You will also fill out the student teacher information form. <laughs> Read it, fill it out, give it to Holly. I'm going to collect these things right now, so this would be a good time for you to fill out the paperwork. <laughs> That would be great. And the information sheet is your advisor, your academic advisor. Academic advisor. No. Somebody fell asleep at the wheel. Can you see me now? Hang on, I'm going to move you. You're going to go here. Let's see, how do we look? Okay. Oh, more papers. Thank you. Those are the two things. Ah, thank you. And thank you. Awesome. Okay, friends. Are we ready? Splendid. Okay. What I'd like to focus on is sort of the course element of what's going on. I'll give a little bit of uh, overview, kind of not trying to step on Dr. Hodges' toes too much because she's going to get more of the field component pieces and things with supervisors and things like that. So what's going to happen with you um, is that on, what is it, the 7th, January 7th we get back, I believe, um, we are going to begin to meet. Um, and we just got our room today. It's going to be over in Schneider, if you all know where that is in the student union first floor. I think we have both rooms because we have a relatively big group. Um, we are going to meet there every day um, starting on Monday from 10 o'clock until a, we're going to say 3.30, but it'll probably be a bit more like 3, but I wanted to reserve it. We actually have it reserved till 4. So um, it's possible we would need to go longer, but I think we will be just fine. Um, we'll take about an hour break for lunch each day um, just so you can eat, 45 minutes to an hour depending. Um, and we're going to do a lot of stuff. Um, and, and there's really, when I think of this class, I really think it's got three components. So the first is getting you prepared for the ed T P A, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The second is, is helping you guide you through the student teaching experience. And the third piece is helping you get, gain employment, um, and helping you figure out different things, uh, learn different things about how to get a job, make sure, um, and try to help ensure that you get a job. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So now let's start with the EdTPA piece. How many of you are familiar or have heard of the EdTPA? How many of you feel like you kind of know what it is? Kind of, sort of? Okay, good, okay, that's good, that's fine. We are gonna spend a good deal of time um, focusing on this exam. In short, I'm not going into detail now. Um, that exam is not, it's pretty much like, what difference does instruction make on steroids? So for those of you who are music folks, <laughs> For those of you who are music folks, um, it's really an assessment of can you plan, implement, assess, and reflect. And that's it. That's all it is. Um, aww, I agree. I know. I just said it's easy. <laughs> right? He's a piece of cake. Um, so we will really prepare you and understanding like, some of the academic vocabulary, because some of the language they use is a little bit slightly different than what you have heard and what anybody else in the world uses in teaching. So we'll make sure that we bridge those gaps and things like that. I'll just leave it at that. Um, the second piece that we will work on is um, in helping you through student teaching. Experience. At some point, hopefully, are you gonna come in again on Wednesday? Or will you do that again on that Wednesday? So Dr. Hodge will come in for like about an hour and a half or so-ish. Um, one day and sort of really get you set for the for the um, field experience. 
There will be a time on that Thursday, I believe we usually do it, the supervisors will come in. You'll get to sit with your supervisors, talk with them. They'll guide you through what's going on. Um, is that bad when the thing goes into, like, whole, it, it went into, do you guys know, are any tech people in there, it went into, like, screensaver mode? Is it still recording when it goes into screensaver mode? Anybody know? Right. I have to wait to see if the green light's still on. If the green light's, the green light's on. on. Yeah. If it's still on. Oh, giddy up. All right. <laughs> um, cool. So, um, so uh, we will get you ready for that on Thursday. Meet with your supervisor. And then what's going to happen is after those five days, we're going to have six, I believe it's six seminars, about every two weeks. And those pieces are critical. I call it, it's your teacher therapy sessions. Um, it's where you're going to come in and talk about what you're experiencing in the field. And we're going to have guiding questions and things like that. But um, most importantly there is where you can really sort of talk with each other and go, oh my God, you're not going to believe what just happened. Right? And, you'll, and, and it's just like a really therapeutic experience that I think um, you'll find valuable. Most people do. Honestly, like I can go back to my student teaching experience way 20 years ago. And that was like, oh my gosh, I just look forward to that session. Like I needed it. Um, and a lot of people have that experience. So that'll be another piece. Then you've got the getting a job piece. So we'll do things like Eric Anderson will come in from Career Services. He'll talk to you about like interviewing stuff and what do you, what are the questions and how do you answer them and what are the okays and the not okay things to do. And we will also do an administrator night, which is super awesome, on one of the nights of the um, seminars. The administrators will come in from around the, the Columbus area. Um, they're like HR people, principals, assistant principals, and so on. And they'll still, and then I'm not sure exactly, it depends on how many people agree to come. Um, but we will, um, they'll do things like mock interviews, they'll do panels, they'll, they'll answer questions, they'll tell you things they look for, things they do to try to like trick candidates and so on. So, uh, and a lot of people like get offers kind of for like for a second interview through that it, it happens frequently so hopefully that happens here so it's a real opportunity for you um to to, to think about your future career beyond um being here at capital so that's really kind of the big picture in terms of the course um do you have any broad any general questions about anything related to the course go for it so you said january 17th we come back and we do that first mm -hmm. Just that first week. And then that you're off. Thursday or Monday through Friday? Monday through Friday. Yes. Um, just for future planning, when we're in the field, are we following capital schedule or the school that we're at schedule? The question was, is when they're in the field, excellent question, do they do you follow capital schedule or the school schedule? The school schedule. Cool. If they're on break, you're on break. But if we're on break and they're not on break, you ain't on break. And before we and and please, some people have um, get married or um, have babies. vacations. I mean, babies are okay. Babies have <laughs> but but you know, you're allowed babies, to have a baby. You can yeah. have the baby. <laughs> I mean, really, we've had that, but that's okay. But it's weddings and vacations and family reunions, and sometimes yeah. those things are already planned. So if if you know today that's going on now, and you planned around capital schedule, you need mm -hmm. to let us know. Yeah. Okay. But if you haven't planned something, then we need to plan accordingly. Not and then accordingly. there's like sports okay. things. You want to talk about that? The sports stuff, like softball, usually has something, oh. right? That's always a thing. Yeah. Here's I love softball, by the way. I was a baseball player. I love softball. Oh. Yes. So just you probably need to talk to me. That's probably longer. We we sometimes you have to go longer in your placement if you miss time because of sport because of your sport. Mm -hmm. And so you can talk to me individually. Mm -hmm about that if that's an issue and we can negotiate because sometimes it's a coach issue sometimes it's the the school you're at your university supervisor your property teacher there, there are a lot of variables that we can't say we could say okay you have to have so many weeks but there are lots of variables some of you may be doing great and so that's okay some of you may be not so great so there are lots of variables we take into account because it's on a case-by-case -case basis but if you're playing usually a softball player We've seen more concerns with your time in the field. Mm -hmm. And there's a state requirement for minimum number of hours. Yes. That's so that's why it's really important that yeah. we get those hours yeah. in. So don't stress. So yeah, one yeah, thing yeah, I no, would no. say, I mean, don't stress. Well, stress, but not a lot. <laughs> but not a <laughs> yeah. So, but know we're here to support you. That's really, really important. I mean, most of you have my cell. If not, I, give, I can give you my cell. You can text me, call me, those of you who know me anytime. 
don't stress. Early in the morning, doesn't matter. I mean, four, five, whatever. Um, just if you have any questions about anything throughout this process, even over the break, if you have questions. Okay? So just, just know that. Go ahead. Oh, I think you had a question. Uh, do we know the days or the times of the seminars yet, or does that just go like planning? You will not have yeah. a book until officially you'll have a student teaching handbook, which will have those dates in them. I actually, I do actually have them. We, so I just met with Lil, um, Dr. Kitchell, and we, we just okay. worked it out. I can give them to you off the top if you want them. Um, he is so cute. Um, okay. And other question. Yeah, how long is the actual treatment? How long? Oh, what a great question. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> yeah. So you want me to walk them through yeah. that part? Yeah. Okay. So let me give you the dates first of the seminars. And you're going to see this again, but if you need them now, cool. Uh, January 28th is the first one. February 11th, second one. March 4th is the third one. March 11th is the fourth seminar. The fifth seminar is April 1st. And the last seminar is May 2nd. And I'm going to give you times on those. Oh, you okay? Every, I know, I was like, oh, is he okay? <laughs> um, every seminar except the last one. Let me say that again. Every seminar except the last one is from 345 to 545. And your supervisors will talk to your cooperating teachers if you have a time conflict in terms of you have to leave early to get here to, um, to let them know that you are excused to leave early on those days. The last seminar is from 10 to 12, and that's the celebration of student teaching. And we've got a special speaker, guest speaker this year. Uh, we, we've been doing guest speakers each year, but this year is a special guest speaker. I know. It just got confirmed today, and I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, so let's talk about how the placements work. So this depends. I need a visual. All right, you got to follow me. You ready? You're going to come with me. Come on. You with me? Okay. Okay. Oh, these aren't like the old school ones, huh? Thank you. I forgot how they work. I've been, I've been taught this room forever. You're silly. <laughs> All right, you're going to have to go like non-visual. Sorry, I don't know how to lift those things. Okay, here's how it works. If you are middle childhood, if you are K-12 art, and if you are an in, in, uh, IS, intervention specialist, your, your set, giddy up, your setup looks a little different. For you folks, all right, you ready? So IS, MCE, and art. Here's how it works for you. It's a split placement, like this. Yeah. And in seven weeks each. Okay? Um, and what happens is, is you're gonna have a triad between you, your cooperating teacher, and your supervisor at the very beginning. Well, usually within about the first week. And it'll be a meet and greet. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Any questions? Great. Then about every two weeks or so, you'll have an observation. And then there'll be a closing triad once again, where they talk, the three of you talk, cooperating teacher, supervisor, and yourself, 
about how do things go, what went well, and you'll evaluate each other. And we'll talk about that later. And it's a, it's a formative piece. Then you're going to go to another assignment. The same thing's going to happen. Triad, observation, final triad. The end. Okay? Music folks, you look a little different. You're kind of like this. And same kind of process, it looks like that. So a lot of you are going to have three, some may have two. Depends. Okay? That's our music piece. And then for our AYA and ECE folks, it's just one straight line of 14 weeks. <laughs> Dom? Midterm triad, end term triad, three triads for you. Interspersed observation in between. Does that make sense? I'm back. Go for it. So for, if you're looking at the MCE one, week one, is that the week that we are at capital, or is that not including that week? Not including capital. The question was, is what's the first week really mean? Is it the first week of capital? No. First week you're with us, with me. Then you start your field experience. Unless you're, there's no international student teachers here, right? Are there? Oh, two of you. Y'all, you all just jumping right in. You won't even have the seminar. You, we'll set up a time to meet, and I'll just kind of, in about an hour, I'll tell you everything they're going to learn in a week. <laughs> um, you'll be fine. I've, we've done it. Everybody's been successful, and you'll have support, and don't worry about it. Really, I promise. Um, other questions? Go for it. April 19th? I'm counting 14 weeks. I don't know. You know what the last day is? Yeah. So it's like the day before, basically the day before we have our last seminar. So it'll be like May 1st. Yeah, right? Isn't you, don't they usually go up until the last day before seminar? The question is, when was the last day? On, um, in the field. It's that Thursday. Yeah, Thursday's a seminar, and then they do it until right before then, right? Okay. All right. Other questions? I am I got logged out again. Sorry. I don't mean to get so close. I know it looks weird. Other in, questions? In January, you will get a student teaching handbook, which will have all of your dates. It will tell you the last date. Um, and Holly has that. It's probably already done. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have those dates. Do you are, you, are you going to talk to them about background checks? You go ahead. You want me to say something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Background checks are critical. If you do not have a background check that is current, you cannot go into a school at all. So, if you don't have one, that's okay. No time to panic. Um, it'd probably be a good idea to get it on it now. But if if worse came to worst, um, you they can do it that first week. Um, they'll be on campus, right? The BCI FBI folks. And the BCI FBI folks will be right there in that hallway, and they'll do. Them, I think they're sixty-five bucks, and you got to use cash or a money order. I probably wouldn't wait until then, um, but you can. You can if you have um, a background check already from like pedagogy or something. Great. Um, the thing you got to look for, though, is make sure that it is, because they're, they're good for a year. Make sure that it's good until the end of your student teaching experience. So it's got to be good through May 1st. If it's not good through May, May 1st, I'd be going to get another one. Um, and then, you know, depending on how much lag time you have, you might just do the FBI, BCI folks down the hall. Um, and, and we'll have those dates. We should have those dates by the first seminar. Um, we should know those. We usually know those out of time. And we'll share those with you. Um, yes, questions? Yeah, so for pedagogy, if we do have a background check, we can use a sub license if we have it. Are we able to do that through student teaching? No. The question was is if you have a sub license, can you use it as a background check? The answer is no. Because some, some districts some districts ask for the actual background check. And Holly, if you have questions about that, I would actually email Holly. Holly Cundiff. Cundiff. Email Holly Cundiff with any specific um, background check questions. She is the go-to queen. Yes. Just is. email her. Email her. And, she knows the and while we're on the subject of Holly, I, told, I promised her I'd say this. If you get an email from Holly, always read it. <laughs> okay? 
She will never spam you, and if she sends you something, I assure you it's important. See, Holly, I recorded it. I said it. <laughs> That's all I've got, Dr. I mean, up to questions, we'll tag team because we have to do yeah. know about that, too. Yes, so then are we sending our background checks to Holly for just where do we send those to? They come to Capitol. Yeah, okay. Just and she'll tell that whoever's mm -hmm. take, doing it that that's where it needs to go. Yes. Okay. And you should, so background checks are sent to Capital University. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she'll tell you the code and everything that you need. Holly? Yeah. Okay. Holly will have, tell you the code that you need. <laughs> if you have a question, email Holly ahead of time. So, you, I mean, I have had students to email me while they are getting their background check because they don't know what code. I don't know the code. Huh. So try to find we it out want to know before. Because I do it. I've had it happen several times. Yeah. yeah. I guess I should, maybe it should put it in my phone or something. No, no. You've got enough information yeah. in your brain. Yeah. Okay. okay. Other questions. Now, university, you will have a university supervisor. And your university supervisor, we're not sure who it will be right now. A lot of you have requested specific people. And um, that may or may not happen. Again, we have a lot of variables. You have to realize there are tons of universities that are trying to place student teachers right in Columbus. And so we're really competing with them. So what's really important to understand is that, yes, we have vetted our university supervisors. Some of you know them. You may not. But get to know them. They are your biggest advocate in your building. Okay, and um, you will. They will contact you. Uh, you can contact them once you find out who it is, and that will typically happen happen in January when you return. Okay, so that first week, all your questions should be answered that first week you're going to the seminar. If you're an intercultural student teaching, then just shoot me an email and and uh, or Holly. You can find an answer for you, okay? And oh, I should. Sometimes I do things to do and not to do. So I want you to be comfortable, but not too comfortable, okay? So an example of not too comfortable. I had a student teacher. I got a call because the student teacher um, was in the office, had his feet on the desk um, in the office. And then later on, at doing hall change, he was rolling down the hall in a chair that had wheels on it. I mean, that's too comfortable, okay? <laughs> All right? I want you to be too comfortable, but not too comfortable. Um, I'm the person who, if something happens, they use, I'm the one who I will go out, and I've done this, and I will tell you, please get your stuff, come with me, trust me. Okay? And if you forget anything, I will make sure you get it. So that means something really went down that either you knew it was bad or maybe you didn't even know it was bad. But I, I've actually had to do that with some student teachers. And um, sometimes things just happen. And, there's, and, and usually we try to work those things out. And we know we see them happening ahead of time. And, but there should be a level of, of comfort with your um, cooperating teacher. But you may not have that. But honestly, I tell my student teachers, if you are working with a cooperating teacher and you're slightly or somewhat uncomfortable, at some point in your career as a teacher, you're going to have that same level of, um, where you may not be comfortable with working with someone to try to work through that while you have me and you have a university supervisor who can help you navigate that as a student teacher. So don't be so quick to throw in a towel, okay? And so keep that in mind. Your grade will come from your university supervisor with input from your cooperating teacher. If usually by midterm, when you do your midterm at a certain placement, I usually tell the um, suggested university supervisor to ask you what grade um, do you think you have at this point and why. And if there's something they want to see you work on by the end of the experience to get an A out of the experience, that's what you should ask. What should I work on so I can get an A? Okay, because it's kind of improvement. It's not kind of check off and you know, points. It's showing improvement, maintaining where you are. And we understand context is everything. Your settings may be very different. You may have a class and they're little angels. Okay, and you can teach and create, be creative. You have all the resources. And then you may have a setting that may not be like that. 
but that's real life, okay? But we'll find a happy medium, because we do move students when we, we may go into settings, so you know what, this isn't going to work. But you've got to communicate with us, okay? Don't wait till the last moment. I mean, I could tell you some stories. And I haven't been doing this job very long. But from the university supervisor side and as the director of clinical partnerships. But we're here, to, I am here. We are here to support, okay? Other questions, general questions. Again, that first week, I will be there for questions. And here, you'll meet your university supervisor. There is a form in your student teaching handbook that says areas of improvement, areas of strength. It's really important that you, um, right, if, if you're not organized, you need to let, let your university supervisor know that. And you've got to put in some strategies. Okay. Because that's what we're trying to help you with while you're in this experience. So it should be fun. Did I say fun? Anything about fun? <laughs> it should be fun. You should have stress. Not a lot of stress. If you stress, e stress, whatever, you stress, all that at some point. But it should be fun. So call me. I can come out for fun stuff too, not just the bad <laughs> stuff. So I try to do that at times. If you're just like, this is this really cool setting. I want you to see what's going on. I have some time for that. And um, yeah. So what questions do you have? Other questions? Read your handbook. Please read the handbook. Read the handbook. Read the handbook. There's a lot of information in there. Now, you may have a university supervisor who will tell you, I want a reflection every week. Oh, that's a good one. And then you may have another university supervisor who may want you to call them every week. It's like, call, write a reflection? They lucked out. I mean, it just depends. And your university supervisor are very different, okay? So they may require different things for you. And that's okay. You may not like it. You can vent to me, but, you know, that's how it is. And again, your settings, when they require a lesson plan, um, the lesson plan may uh, be required at a certain time for, to your university supervisor, or they may say, just go through your property teacher. Again, it depends on your setting, because if you're in elementary and you may be in art, you may have the same lesson for two weeks, okay, in different grade levels. Whereas if you're in math, you may have four different lessons every day, because you have four different math classes, okay? So there's a lot of variation in some settings. You may have a class, maybe there's a calculus class, and a teacher, your property teacher says, I don't want you to teach that class. That may be okay, but you would co-teach, you would work on planning, but you may never actually take over that class. So again, it varies. And then if you're really adamant about something, that's when you talk to your university supervisor, and they can talk to me, and we'll say, you know what, maybe we need to let them know we really want you to try to teach it, okay? Or maybe we're going to pull you back from teaching something. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot of variation. We are really intensely involved with you individually. Your university supervisor is your best friend. Can I underscore that? Like, communication is so key. Like, if something's going on or you're wondering about something, I'm comfortable with something, you've got to talk. You gotta to talk to your cooperating teacher, you gotta to talk to your supervisor and or Dr. Hodge and or Dr. Me. Um, <laughs> no, but I mean I remember there's a there's a music student, I'll never forget this. This poor guy had two placements. He was teaching like seven classes. And I, I and he didn't say anything for like what, two months? And he was like really worn down. I'm like, man, you okay? It's like, yeah, I teach these seven classes, man. It's tough. I'm like, boop, seven. <laughs> what do you mean teaching seven classes? So, and he just carried that on until finally we're like, oh my gosh, you can't do that. That's insane. So please, please tell us what's going on if something's uh, like you're uncomfortable or you have a hard time or something doesn't make sense. Um, there really aren't stupid questions, just stupid people. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> there really aren't any stupid questions. Please just like ask or say, is this normal? Or I'm really having a hard time with this. Please talk to us. I mean, I had a student teacher who she never told me. And, and for some reason, I, I didn't know why her mom wanted to meet me, but after the experience, her mom, we went out to breakfast after the experience, and she said, you know, Jordan never told you, did she? I said, what? I mean, Jordan was there. We actually did. It was a nice breakfast. And um, so Jordan had to do uh, car duty 
And I think this may have been the coldest winter on record, right? <laughs> oh. And so she had, she did car duty by herself. So the first day I was there, and she was out there with the teacher, and they were doing car duty. And I was like, cool. You know, he's there to support her. But that was the last day he was ever out there with her for car duty. And she bought boots and coats and and I would always see her coming in, and, when, and she would have all this stuff, and she was like she was coming from, I guess, what's the coldest place? Ah! And I never really <laughs> thought about it. And then when they said it, I was like, oh, yeah. She said, yeah, she bought a lot of clothes, winter clothes that winter. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not cool. No. I mean, he should have helped her, but, you know. You're not like a lackey. Yeah. I mean. yeah. But, I mean, you may have to make... You may have to do lackey work, but you're not yeah. a lackey. I mean, but that's what teachers do. They do Absolutely. have bus duty. They have car duty. They have lunch duty. We got to make mean, copies. So, yeah, copies. So, yeah. And that may happen in the beginning. But you've got to communicate with us. Yeah. Because sometimes... I've had some students lately who I'm like, I'm a teacher. Yeah. Yes, but, you know, you got to make copies, too. Absolutely. But if you're doing someone's laundry... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Parking. I mean, parking. Find out about parking. I mean, we've had an issue where a student was parking in someone's place, and I mean, it really blew up. Like, I'm gonna block you in. You're not gonna get out. They're gonna Little things. And y'all, do y'all ever watch The Office? Yeah. That could, because stuff happens. I mean, yeah. So get some exercise. Park away. <laughs> you know, walk. Okay. I mean, I'm telling you, it's really nice. Things happen. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, other questions for us? Thank you for coming because this is kind of so you know who other people are. When you have issues with your car dying, I mean, there's Uber. Get Uber. You know, I mean, I'm thinking about Uber, so maybe call me. I don't know. I, give it, I don't think I can give a discount. But um, <laughs> I think I'm joking. I'm really thinking about it. Um, but yeah, have a plan B. Plan C. And probably a plan D will get you through if something happens. I would be a good Uber, I know you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be great. You're giving me a good tip. I agree with that. Yeah. And myself, softball people, I'm sorry if you're if you felt single out. No, I love it you guys. Fun. We love you softball people. So it's not your fault, it's just athlete, your schedule. So I was an athlete too. So I, I have probably more sympathy than most people really need to empathy. She's probably. a Hall of Fame athlete, probably. I am a Hall of Fame. She is a Hall of Fame athlete. So um other questions? Yes. So we got. Yes. And we are a family friendly place. We are. We so love kids. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yes. yes. Thanks, buddy. And you can ask some other questions. Go, go. So, Holly sent us an email that we would maybe kind of want to have a placement today. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave. We'll just go. Is that your question? Uh, you want to know? Okay, so let me tell you placements. Some of you may not have placements. You may just have a district. Placements, if you have a placement, it's typically not going to change. You can get your placements from how? Any person if you like. And um, sometimes you'll find out some kind of quirky things like, oh, I'm not teaching, you know, anymore. I'm having surgery or something like that. That may happen. So feel free to call them. I mean, email them. And you can find the email. Use your resources to do that. And there are some other issues if yes. you don't have a placement and maybe some things we're waiting on from you. So that's why you don't have a placement. So all those things need to be cleared up by a certain time or you will not get a placement. Okay? So They're up here. You can come so take a look. So you can and find it. There's right two now. separate ones. They're separate. Two different ones. Okay. That's all, folks. Bye.